everybody. How y'all doing today? <laughs> well, uh, I made a Tony Hawk video, and I put it on YouTube. I made one a long time ago, but this was a new one I put on YouTube. The picture quality was really, really bad. I hope nobody saw that video, because I had no idea the video was going to look like that. But uh, the video was really messed up looking. All you could hear was my voice, and you couldn't even really see me talking about the games. But uh, anyway, here's a redo of the video, so here's me redoing the video. But I'm going to talk about some of my Tony Hawk games here. Here we got the the Pro Skater series, uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater for Dreamcast. I really like this one. It had very good graphics for Dreamcast. It looked a lot better than the PlayStation 1 version, but uh, it's, it's very fun on Dreamcast. You know, I like Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, so I had to get number two on Dreamcast. Looks great on Dreamcast. Very good graphics. Very fun game. There's a Tony Hawk's Pro Skater for a PlayStation 1. There's a Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 for a PlayStation 1. Only paid a $2 for it. That's that's pretty cheap. But uh, I like that game. Very good. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3 for PlayStation 1. Yes, they did make it for PlayStation 1. I was surprised by that. It also came out on uh, Xbox, a PlayStation 2, and GameCube. Uh, we'll get to those in a little while. But uh, this game, oh, I forgot to mention, this came out on uh, N64 also. One of the last uh, N64 games to come out on uh, that system. And uh, Conqueror's Bad Fur Day was one of the last ones too. But uh, I have to say this game is very ugly. Graphics compared to... Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3 on Xbox, PlayStation 2, or GameCube. You can really tell a difference because this game has some uh, pretty bad graphics. But uh, it plays a lot like uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and uh, 2 for PlayStation 1. But uh, the graphics look uh, pretty, pretty, pretty rough. And I uh, guess they made a uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4 for uh, PlayStation 1, and uh, I saw it for a cheap price, so I said, uh, "What the hell? I'll buy it on there just to see uh, if it's any good." And uh, it's just like a Tony Hawk's uh, Pro Skater 3. It plays just like a Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1, 2, and a 3 for PlayStation 1. The graphics aren't as good, and it's it's hard to play this one and then go back to playing it on PlayStation 2 or Xbox. You can uh, really tell a difference in the graphics. I mean, this this game looks horrible on the PlayStation 1 compared to the, the PlayStation uh, 2 version and the GameCube and the Xbox versions look so much better. Here's a good one right here. came out on Xbox. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2X. This is a great remake of a Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2. There's actually some extra levels in here, too. There's 24 levels altogether. That's a ton of levels. You get five exclusive new levels, plus all the levels from Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2. So if you like Tony Hawk, this is the version to get. I mean, that's a great version. I think I paid $20 for it. But I really like that one. Me and my friends had a lot of fun playing that one. Uh, here's Tony Hawk's Downhill Jam. It first came out on Nintendo Wii. I have played it on Nintendo Wii, and I, I thought it looked pretty good on there. But uh, here's the PlayStation 2 version. PlayStation 2 version looks uh, pretty good, too. I thought it was pretty fun. It's it's a lot different than all the other Tony Hawk games, but uh, it's uh, it's fun. I mean, I like it. only character I really play as is uh, Tony Hawk. I don't really like the other characters. But uh, it's not a bad game. It's a pretty fun racing game. I'm actually surprised they haven't made a sequel to that one by now. Uh, here's Tony Hawk's uh, Project 8 for uh, PlayStation 3. It looks really good on the PlayStation 3, but uh, there's no online play in this version. But uh, looks looks nice on the HD TV. Here's a uh, Tony Hawk's Proving Ground, also available on a uh, Xbox 360. And uh, it's a very it's a very good looking game. I never played online in this game though, because I, I could never find anybody to play with online. But every time I went online, there was like there was no games going, so I have never played online in this game. But uh. I like the single player. It's pretty good. I beat the single player, but then my hard drive got corrupted, and uh, I did. I lost my save file. But I haven't played it again since then. But I, I might put it back in my PlayStation 3 and play it. But uh, as you as you might remember, I made a video. I guess it was a while back, showing how my PlayStation 3 died. It was a, the hard drive got corrupted, but it didn't last but like two days. My PlayStation 3. And then I had to return it and get another one. But uh, anyway, uh, here's some more uh, Tony Hawk games. Here's uh, Tony Hawk's Project 8 for Xbox, one of the one of the last Xbox games to come out. It it doesn't look horrible on Xbox, but I mean the graphics they don't 
they look pretty bad compared to the 360 version. I mean, this game looks it's it looks and plays completely different than the 360 version. But uh, it's all right for Xbox. It doesn't look so bad on HD TV. And uh, here's my two copies of Tony Hawk's Project 8 for 360. This version has online play. The reason I have two copies is because, uh, well, one of my copies is really scratched up thanks to my 360. And uh, Microsoft, they, they told me if I want to get a replacement, I'd have to go to Activision and buy a re Tony Hawk replacement from them. So I just said, uh, screw that, I'm not doing that. I just went to GameStop and I, I bought me a, another copy of the game. I can't remember how much I paid for it. I think it was like $20. But uh, Microsoft never uh, refunded, never offered to buy me another Tony Hawk game. And that was the one that really got ruined by my 360. I mean, it's got scratches all over it, thanks to that damn 360. And no, I did not move my system. I know a lot of people are say, send me messages saying, oh, you're a dumbass, Booker. You just don't know how to work the 360. You probably, you probably uh, put shit on top of it and all that. No. No, I didn't do anything to it. 360 just ate my games. Anyway, on to the next uh, Tony Hawk game here. Tony Hawk's American Wasteland for a PlayStation 2, the Collector's Edition. Very hard to find. But uh, you get uh, two exclusive classic mode levels. I think one of them is Atlanta. I forget. I th yeah, I think it is Atlanta. And there are two exclusive secret characters, making of American Wasteland documentary and concept art gallery featuring Jimbo Phillips. But a very good a version of uh, American Wasteland. Here's the 360 version of American Wasteland. Uh, it looks a little better than the Xbox version and PlayStation 2 versions, but it's not a huge difference. They pretty much just took the game from Xbox and uh, ported it over and uh, put it in widescreen. That's pretty much all they did. But, uh... That's a pretty fun game online. Tony Hawk's American Wasteland for uh, Xbox uh, has online play, finally. And the, the 360 version also has online play. But uh, this is a very fun game online. And this is the first game in Tony Hawk series that's actually online for uh, Xbox. Because all the other ones weren't online for Xbox. But uh, I'll, I'll go over the other ones over here. Tony Hawk's Underground 2, that was a pretty good one. It has online play, but the Xbox version does not have online play. There's the Xbox version. Uh, Tony Hawk's uh, Underground, I love this one. Uh, this one was a lot of fun. It was a very good game. You could like take take your face and put it in the game. Oh, that was great. I still got my character saved on my memory card. He looks just like me. But uh, that was a very fun game. Here's the Xbox version. The Xbox version, it looks better than the PlayStation 2 version, but uh, there's no online play. Same with the Underground 2. It looks a little better on Xbox than it does on PlayStation 2. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4 for uh, PlayStation 2. Pretty fun game. Online play is pretty good. There's the Xbox version. Uh, no online play. This was one of the first Xbox games I ever got. But a uh, very fun game. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3, one of my favorite ones in the series. This was the first GameCube game I ever got. I tell you, it's a great GameCube game. Looks very good on GameCube. A great, great multiplayer. You can play as Darth Maul, and you can play as uh, Kelly Slater and a bunch of other characters in there. There's also a devil-looking character, and there's Wolverine, but a very fun game. There's a PlayStation 2 version. It has online play. And uh, there's the Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3 for uh, Xbox. It has uh, one extra level and, uh, and one extra character. I think it's a skeleton guy. I think his name's X-Ray. I forget. But that, that, that extra level is used later on in one of the Tony Hawk games, the oil rig. And uh, last but not least, Tony Hawk's Underground 2 Remix, which is pretty much a Tony Hawk's Underground for uh, PlayStation 2 and Xbox and all that, except just on PSP. And uh, Tony Hawk's Project 8, which is pretty much just like the Xbox version. Well, uh, that's all my Tony Hawk games I got to share. I cannot wait for the new Tony Hawk ride. I know it's going to be expensive, though, because it's like a, a skateboard you stand on. I heard it's like $120, but but uh, I'll buy it. I mean, I'm a big Tony Hawk fan. I can't wait to play it. Well, uh, thanks for watching. If you have a Tony Hawk collection you'd like to share, feel free to leave me a video response, and I'll accept it. Well, uh, y'all have a good day now. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.